Hi, I'm Jane and Mason from Watching Paint Dry. And today we're in the Monterey area, and Monterey has two unique species of trees. And one of them is the Monterey pine, and it has these huge, gigantic pine cones on it, or pretty big size. And another is the Monterey cypress. And look at the difference in these two sides of the pine cones. And right now we're gonna paint the cypress and so you can imagine that these are the little pine cones that this tree has on it. We're not going to be painting the pine cones. It's pretty far away. And what we're starting with, I did a little sketch before you got here so that we could be ahead of the game. And um, it almost looks like a Dr. Seuss story or something. And that is the nature of these cypress. They have a very horizontal, very zen-like stretched out feel to them. And you'll notice from my sketch that the vegetation is quite triangular in its form. So on this particular tree, and I'm going to do this little sketch fairly quickly, on this particular tree we're going to paint the vegetation first and then we're going to fill in with the trunks. Now again I put the drawing on here much darker than I normally would but I wanted you to be able to see it so I'm going to just pounce in with the vegetation I don't want to um, let's see I don't want to make it overly fussy I don't want to make it too elaborate and I want to give the suggestion of these triangular shapes so I am pouncing with my flat brush you could use a round brush here too Oop, almost lost my water there. And again, this is just going to give you an idea about how you would handle one of these trees. I think I'm actually going to switch to my round brush now and work a little bit on this trunk. And trunks have very, typically they have uneven bark and the cypress the bark is lighter than this, and I, so I think I might um, actually grab a paper towel and tap some of that color off. You may have seen my video on doing note cards, and this would be, or little paintings, and this would be a great little painting to do of a cypress tree because they are so unusual. And the, these little sketchy parts of them, you could finish one of these off fairly quickly, just like I'm showing you. I'm actually taking my brush into the wet paint, and that's allowing it to run and make some other very pretty marks in here. So I want to pay attention to my tree, so I make sure I'm replicating the form, the skeleton, the shape of the tree. And now I'm going to go back to my green. I'm going to do some more pouncing. When you make paintings of trees, you have to remember, and it seems obvious, but sometimes it's hard to see it. Some of the branches are coming towards you. So like most of my triangles are one way, this particular triangle seems like it's upside down to imply that that branch is coming toward me. You Maybe you're not aware that this branch is different, but it adds to the overall veracity of the tree, the realness, the, the um, authenticness of the tree. And we're almost done with this little sketch here. I think we're done. What I've done is taken these triangular shapes that block out how the foliage looks on the tree. I sketched those out first, I added the trunk, and then I pounced the color in the triangular shapes to give the overall impression of the tree without belaboring it. So there you go. You have the Monterey uh, Cypress tree. And thank you for joining me. I'm Jane M. Mason from Watching Paint Dry.